So here we come to the end of the Olympics. I've thoroughly enjoyed these Olympics. They're great performances coming across the board. Italy, five gold medals, is it? And they, in the athletics medals table, they actually finished second behind the United States, incredibly, with five gold medals, and then followed by Poland and then Jamaica. So great performances by Poland and Italy especially. Now, there's a few things that have come up through these Olympics I want to talk about, which I cannot understand. And it affects the well-being of the athletes. And the first thing I want to ask is, specifically for me, I don't know about you guys in the US, I know there's a lot of the people that view my videos in the US, and but from our point of view, from the GB athletes and over here in, in the UK, um, so most a lot of the top gold medal prospects like Dina Asher-Smith, or considered to be top model, uh, gold medal prospects, I'm not entirely sure whether what she, what she was capable of this Olympics, but she was considered a gold medal prospect as well as Katrina Donson Thompson turning up injured to the athletic to the games. Now we never knew that they were that injured. They they actually came out after their events and just said it was you know KJT came out and said literally it was a miracle that I got on the start line, and then Dean Asher Smith said. I recently pulled my hamstring. I had a really bad pull in my hamstring and five weeks ago. And this is the first thing we hear about it. So, th th you know, th their pr prospects drop continuously and their expectations of themselves drop continuously. And because they don't tell us, we didn't know about this, their expectations the country has for them is still up there. And we don't know about these uh, these injuries. And I want to ask is why do why do they hold back from being honest with the media surely it would be a right to say i i listen i've had a few in, i've had this bad injury it's a test it's i'm against time here it doesn't look great i'm going to try my best and temper expectations of the public but they kept it quiet and you have to wonder why and it and it's happened to Buchetta guy as well. It was like it's about his problems that he comes up, and they seem to come up with these problems straight after they've competed in Olympics, where they've they've compete they've they haven't performed because of these injuries. And I don't understand why they put the, keep the pressure on themselves because it does keep the pressure on themselves. Public expectations still up here. They have an injury, and the prospects of their expectation and their performance levels drop down here. puts added pressure on the athlete to keep it quiet, and I don't know why they do it. And you go, everyone, is this because of the sponsors? Is it because of outside factors? Is it because of the agents for some reason? And if for any of those prospects, if it's any of those things, it's unacceptable. You can't have that. It's the well-being of the athlete. It suffers. The actual athlete suffers. So I, one question I'd like to know is why do they keep it quiet? Why not temper the expectations of the public, take the pressure off yourself, and then come back and do your best to come back to the to the sport. Remarkable. And we've got even where I watched the BBC over here, one you know well-known pundit saying, but specifically of Katrina Johnson Thompson, oh she'll be fine, she'll be fine. When she clearly wasn't fine, she had a calf injury and she was suffering, she was getting massage on it as the events were going by. And you wonder why did she say that? Why did she say that she's fine when she's not? Why not be honest? Why not be honest with the public and just say, listen, I'm not in the best shape and take the pressure off yourself. It doesn't mean you have to, you're not going to take your focus away. It's, it's incredible. And so and the other thing as well as GB Athletics Athletics has got a lot to change. They finished 24th on the medal table. That's not acceptable. 24th on the athletics medal table. Now, not taking away from the performances of some of the athletes that did, that came through and performed and, performed up to expectations but that 24th is absolutely unacceptable especially where there's an eye on 20 million spent on this sport and there's a lot of gb athletics has to change they have to, gb athletes have to change the coaches have to change the way they do that because they've got athletes turning up injured to the the they've got athletes turning up injured into the, the competing and you have to say well you have to ask why are these athletes coming up injured it's it's just questions now it's you know if they come out and say you know we do need to change that's fine but they have to change it's not 24th on the medal table is not acceptable so there's, there's a lot to come away overall the athletics has been top draw i think it's because of the, the how open 
some of the 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 competition has been this year, but uh, and generally the performance at the speed of some of the athletes, the world record specifically, Carsten Warholm against Riley Benjamin was my, one of my favourites. Um, I see the uh, Elaine Thompson Herra was brilliant as well. What performances? Uh, Andre de Grasse was a great great one in the two hundred meters. Um, and we see Inga Britson turning up in the 1500s, but doing a, a great performance again. So there's a load of others, but the overall the t- competition was brilliant. And I love the women's high jump at the end, the, 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 today, t- t- early on today. That was brilliant as well. So there's a lot today that's uh, in, in lines with talking about Bolt and post Bolt, what's athletics going to be like with post Bolt. There's a lot of teenagers coming up. Femke Bol, we've got Keely Hodgkinson, we've got the Maruchik uh, girl in high jump, we've got. Um, We've got Athlete Mo, fantastic athlete. It is what she did in the four by four is incredible. So there's a lot of uh, it's interesting. It's really interesting to see what is is going to come out in the next couple of years. And specifically, I'm looking forward to Paris in three years' time. So a lot of mixed messages, um, you know, mixed mixed feelings from these uh, from these championships overall. For, as a GB fan, as GB athletics, there's a lot to change. But overall, as athletics, I really enjoyed it. I loved the competition. I think it was really, really had me enthralled. So roll on Paris.